Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hello, guys, this is Nagasol's Revenge, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be showcasing on how to transfer files between two Vitas with Vita Shell via with ad hoc mode enabled. As well, please be sure to follow my social media so you know the latest hacking guides and tutorials for my channel. And with that being said, we could go ahead and talk about the prerequisites and I'm going to state the items you need for this video. You need two modded PlayStation Vitas or, you know, two PSTVs or maybe a Vita or a TV in this case, depending on what you have. That is using on both Hankaku, H Encore, and also the Trinity hack. So both of your systems need to be, you know, modified. As well, your systems need to be on 3.60 to 3.70 firmware as well both of your um, systems need to have the latest version of Vita shell and both of your uh, systems need to be on the same Wi-Fi connection and both of your systems need to have some type of file that you want to transfer over to one console or another so for example if you got saved data on one console and you just want to go ahead and automatically uh, transfer it to one system to another instead of using like USB and using a PC this method you could also as well or if you want to you know transfer over trophies or maybe an image you could all do that with the ad hoc mode in Vita shell and last but not least I just want to give a special shout out and also just a thanks to the official flow once again just for you know creating a multitude and a plethora of hacks for the scene and I just want to give a big shout out and a thank you to my supporters and viewers who always watch my stuff on my channel I currently have 400 subscribers or I think 399 at the moment and if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't really be doing these videos and I do appreciate each and every one with you but with that being stated I'm gonna go ahead and start on the tutorial meet you guys there all right guys so as shown here I'm basically back onto my PlayStation Vita so I have my Japanese Vita on one screen then I have my regular 1000 Vita on one screen and our end goal today is basically take my 1000 Vita and take one file from there and transfer it over to my other system the one that's that has jet set radio and adrenaline installed but my one that's onto my left side on the screen as shown here just the one with Vita shell that's the one we're going to be transferring files over to the one that has all the game stuff so what we're going to do first is just go ahead and verify that you have the latest version of Vita shell so if you're using a trinity exploit go ahead and run it and then download the Vita shell from the actual application as well and it's the same step kind of with the h on core so go ahead and you know open up h on core go ahead and and cockle first and download Vita shell as well and then you should get it back onto your live area and then if you're doing this on 3.60 firmware, uh, make sure just go ahead into the web browser, run Hankaku. You should already have molecular shell as shown here on my second screen. Go ahead and run that, install it. Make sure you have unsafe humbrew unticked and Hankaku settings as well. You could go ahead and transfer uh, files either, you know, USB or just FTPing with FileZilla and you could download Vita shell uh, basically that way as well but assuming that you already have Vita shell or on your basically your um playstation vita on both systems we could go ahead and get started on the process so what we need to do now is go ahead and open up Vita shell on both systems and then i'm going to wait for my uh other Vita to catch up with my second one but as shown here basically the one that has the blue screen we're going to go ahead and transfer files over to the Vita shell that is has the black screen display so let me go ahead and back out so you can see all the directories as shown here most people will probably want to transfer files either from two areas ur0 or ux0 basically ux ur0 has your trophies and stuff like that and also your tie config but ux0 is primarily where you have your games and also you know maybe your save data and stuff like that so for example I'm gonna go ahead and transfer one of my VPKs on my black Vita to my uh, orange Vita right here or in this case the blue screen to the black screen what we're gonna do is go ahead into UX0 in the first screen right here and I'm gonna do the same thing for my other Vita I'm gonna put it to UX0 as well and we're going to go ahead and scroll over the file that we want to send over to my other Vita. So in this case, it's going to be tubevita.vpk. And as shown here in UX0, I do not have that file. Just so you know, to prove that, you know, I'm not trying to scam or anything. But with that being stated, 
what we need to do is go ahead and hit triangle over on our Vita go scroll all the way down to ad hoc mode go ahead and hit send and what should happen you will get this little error on your screen that says if you connect in ad hoc mode the internet connection will be lost you want to continue just go ahead and hit yes and now basically what's happening is it's trying to connect into ad hoc mode and it's waiting for your other Vita to connect or your PlayStation TV at that matter so what will you need to do now is basically go to your PlayStation your second PlayStation Vita or TV go ahead and hit triangle scroll all the way down to ad hoc mode and then go ahead and hit receive and then you'll get the same error message as stated before if you connect in ad hoc mode the internet connection will be lost do you want to continue just go ahead and hit yes. and then as shown here what we're going to do is basically just wait for the process to pop up on the first Vita. So it's going to say select your PlayStation Vita. It's going to detail your PlayStation account that is synced to your second Vita. Just go ahead and hit OK. And now it's going to say please wait on the, your Vita. And then it's going to ask, do you want to retrieve files from Nagato Dev? Just go ahead and hit yes or whatever your account. Yours will be definitely different than mine. And now as you see here, one Vita is sending the file over and the other one is retrieving it. Now if we go back to the Vita that has the black screen you can see that two Vita has successfully transferred over and if you compare and contrast the files they both have the same file size and also the same name so what I'm gonna do now and just to prove that I don't have two Vita installed right now on my live area I'm gonna go back into Vita shell and then I'm gonna go ahead and install two Vita and now once that process is done and finished, it shouldn't take too long. I'll show it basically popping up on my live area. But that's how essentially you send over files from v for between two Vitas. So I scroll down here. As shown here, this is a tube Vita on my PlayStation um, my second PS Vita. And if you guys want to know how to install basically the latest uh, YouTube app or homebrew, I will video in that in the card somewhere here or in a link in the description below. But with that being stated, um, this is how you transfer files over. If you guys have any questions on how to set this process up, please be sure to you know contact me in the you know link below or not even in the link, I mean comment section. But with that being stated, I'm gonna go ahead and sign up and I'll see you guys in the next video.